Did you know silk comes from boiling animals alive? Yep, caterpillars, but not the kind that become butterflies. These caterpillars build silk cocoons and then emerge as moths. But when they emerge, they destroy their precious silk cocoons. So silk producers have developed a brilliant solution. Just don't let the bugs escape. Kill them instead by boiling or baking them, just like potatoes. And that will kill the animal inside while preserving what really matters, the silk. But they do let some silkworms survive. In order to continue breeding, silk producers use selective breeding just like other farmers. Only the healthiest moths are allowed to reach maturity and mate, and any unhealthy eggs they lay are burned. Lots of burning in the silk industry. When silkworms are born, they start out one eighth of an inch in size, just itty bitty babies. But they quickly increase their weight 10,000 times, all by eating leaves which means lots of fiber, so later they can spin out a fibrous thread and glue it all together with secretion from their salivary glands. No wonder silk is so soft. It's made out of spit, and scientists have figured out that if you feed silkworms fluorescent dyes, it will turn them and their spit cocoons different colors. Sure, the dyes might be poisonous for them to consume, but it saves time dyeing the silk later. And efficiency is more important than ethics. The silk industry is so efficient. In India, hundreds of thousands of children who would otherwise just be playing games or going to school, instead get to work in silk production factories, often for 10 to 12 hour work days. What a hands-on way to learn about science. Sometimes they even burn their hands while unraveling silk from these boiling cocoons or cut their fingers while twisting the threads. But don't worry, that doesn't mess up the silk. A single thread of silk is stronger than the equivalent amount of steel. And that's why the military is currently experimenting with using silk to create bulletproof skin. And I really trust the values of the military. There are some new synthetic silks that are also stronger than steel, but we'd have to make those ourselves. And it's easier to steal things. And it only takes 3,000 cocoons to produce a pound of silk. That's only 3,000 worms killed, only 700 million a year, and you know, worms can't even scream, so. If you really want to err on the side of being ethical, you can buy imitation silk. The most common kind is rayon, which is made out of plant cellulose. But that's boring. I would rather wear genuine worm spit and support a multi-billion dollar industry that exploits children and animals. Plus, a study from within the fashion industry found that silk is the second most environmentally damaging material, only after leather. So that's pretty cool. I say let the worms burn and let me know what cool, cruel products you want me to review next.